This year alone, nearly $4 trillion will be spent by individuals and companies to buy new technology. The technology sector is growing significantly and becoming one of the biggest sources of global revenue for countries around the world. The companies around the globe that are creating, marketing, and selling all of this technology, including everything from artificial intelligence to big data to software as a service, are reinvesting up to 15% of their gross revenues back into marketing their technologies. This is a massive expenditure of resources and capital around the world each year. Each one of us is faced with many decisions each day and we fall prey to the status quo bias. This means that we continue to make the same decision we've made in the past over and over again. And the reason we do this is because it's conditioned, it's easier, it's less risky to make the same decision in the current moment that we have in the past that we had positive success with or an experience with. And this status quo bias was first termed in 1988 by Samuelson and Zeckhauser. If any of you have driven to work the same way every day and gotten frustrated when there's construction and they send you on a detour, then you understand exactly what I'm describing in terms of a status quo bias. During the past at least three decades, technology marketers have had to educate purchasers regarding what the technology is, what it does, and how it works. There has been a conditioned bias towards focusing on product features, specifications, product photos, and information. And this bias has continued to this day, even though many technology products have become commodities Every day, marketers have to make a decision regarding which images, messaging, and content to choose for their marketing websites and other content. With the significant advances in neuroscience over the last 10 to 15 years, we have learned more about how the brain works than we have in the previous many decades. And what we've learned from a consumer and a buying behavior standpoint is that purchasers often make emotional decisions and are influenced by their emotions much more strongly than they are by logic and rationalization. Product features and functionality would be logical, rational, cognitive concepts versus images of people with emotions would have an emotional content and impact on those same viewers. Researchers have demonstrated visual processing of face stimuli is faster and more efficient than visual processing of other objects. When you approach a website, your brain and eyes quickly scan the website and make judgments about the imagery that it sees. In 2006, Tottenham and his team conducted a study which revealed that there's a significant face advantage effect when there's rapid presentation speeds present. And that faces are identified much more readily than houses or other objects. According to Frank Stennett and other researchers in 2011 and more recently, Facial expressions are among the most important aspects of human communication. The face is continually communicating not only thoughts or ideas, but also emotions. Our brains are hardwired to scan faces and try to decipher our feelings and our expressions and our emotions. These expressions are biologically hardwired and they're expressed the same way across all people in all cultures. It can therefore be hypothesized that using pictures of houses on websites will gain less attention and less interest 
by the human brain than say a person interacting with that same technology or object. A number of research studies conducted by Wang and others have demonstrated that effective visual design can bring about a positive emotional experience for buyers. Eye tracking experiments and eye movement data have found that product pictures combined with human images induce a positive emotion among participants and improves their attitudes towards the website or the company or the product. In 2019, we conducted research to prove our hypothesis that the majority of technology marketing imagery used on websites today is predominantly focused on communicating logical product information about features and functionality versus emotional imagery which features humans. We captured screenshots from the 50 top technology companies in the US and coded over 530 images individually. These images were then sorted and categorized to determine how many were human, emotional, or inanimate. All the images were manually coded. They were categorized according to whether they had a human face, a human body, an inanimate object, such as a computer or a coffee cup, they might have been a stock image, which was emotionless or expressionless. They may have also been an office scene or an inanimate object, such as a computer screenshot or an iPhone. And then also icons or visual graphics were included. Our data revealed that yes, in fact, only 19% of the images used by these top 50 software and technology companies in the US included humans. And of those 19%, only 9% had positive expressions or a smile. 81% of the images were logical, non-human and emotionless. With 81% of the images being logical, non-human, and emotionless, we have provided evidence that there is in fact a status quo bias in the technology industry towards using non-emotional imagery in website homepages. With the technology industry continually increasing its investment in digital marketing and the explosion of marketing content available on the web today for technology buyers to consume and read, these vendors and publishers could benefit significantly, not only from a differentiation standpoint, but also an engagement standpoint, and could significantly increase their digital marketing effectiveness if they used more emotional imagery than unemotional imagery.